if he's convicted of one of these crimes, which could result in prison time, would you still vote for him for president? Yes, I would. Do you think it's possible that Donald Trump is just making up things as he goes along, that he's basically punking you? No. Do you know what punking means? No. Tricking you? No, he's not. So without really knowing what punking means, this Trump supporter knew it wasn't a good thing and automatically thought it was impossible. And maybe I'm just being negative, but every politician is hiding something from voters or does things that every supporter won't condone. But this is what Trump has been able to cultivate with Republican voters. Unequivocal support for him, regardless of policies or illegal activities. It's why he's so comfortable saying damning things about his guilt. Very important. Before we do this, because you were talking about the Supreme Court, they have two votes that are very important coming up. One is, as we discussed, we call it Colorado or whatever. But, you know, the, I, I really believe they're going to leave the people to vote. But they have another important, and that's immunity for the president. The president of the United States, and I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about any president, has to have immunity. Because if you take immunity away from the president, so important, you will have you will have a president that's not going to be able to do anything. Because when he leaves office, the opposing party, president, if it's the opposing party, will indict the president for doing something that should have been good. A former president that's looking at 91 felony counts over four cases, in addition to already losing cases over his fraudulent business practices in New York and a sexual assault case. That guy's putting his face in front of as many cameras as possible, pushing a narrative that the most important thing for a president is to have absolute immunity or else he can't do anything. It's the most important thing. So do you think that the Supreme Court is likely to find, though, that immunity is absolute for a president? You know, in this case, the, the Obama case, it was a national security effort that went awry and, and I think, you know, is terrible. And these are the kind of awful things that happen in war. Or in President Trump's case, um, could that be seen as a separate kind of issue where he was trying to win the election and do whatever it took to prove pr to prove that. There's a couple things here, Martha. Number one, absolute immunity, presidential immunity has existed prior to President Trump. And I want the American public to understand that this has existed for many, every president prior since the law was created to create a shelter for presidents, sitting presidents, to do what they need to do for the nation without fear of prosecution civilly and criminally. What we are now seeing is a fear of the president winning in 2024 and cleaning up the mess. So they're bringing it. And now I have to tell you, immunity needs to stand. They don't need to create it. They need to keep it. What Trump's attorney is purposely excluding is the details of what she claims is presidential immunity. It actually covers actions relating to the official duties of the president. Immunity doesn't extend to unofficial conduct, criminal conduct, and conducts occurring prior to entering office. But what's worse is that Trump world knows supporters will miss the fact that the total immunity he wants for any president would let crooked Joe off the hook for all the international crimes that they're running campaigns on. Joe Biden is the most incompetent and corrupt president in United States history. The Biden crime family was taking in money from China, Ukraine, Russia, and many, many other countries. So they either don't care about who they call the most corrupt president ever, or they're just conditioning supporters to demand accountability for anyone except for Trump. And the thing that Trump and his lawyers forget, I think, is that they ain't president yet, right? So if the Supreme Court says that the presidents have this, you know, complete immunity from prosecution and whatever, What's to stop, oh, I don't know, the actual president, <laughs> Joe Biden, from launching a preemptive strike on a rebel stronghold at Mar-a-Lago right. to engineer regime change? What's to stop Biden from doing that, right? Like, I don't think Trump has thought this through. Trump doesn't seem to understand, and the people who support Trump don't seem to understand, that the powers he calls onto himself then must be given to every single other president 